It was a story you saw first on News Channel 5, a helicopter crashing in the middle of a West Palm Beach neighborhood. Tonight, as investigators look into a cause, a homeowner whose house was hit by the chopper looks back on the crash while trying to move forward. News Channel 5's Giovanna Deerpick has the story. One day after a chopper crash landed right here in the Northwood section of West Palm Beach, you can still see the foam that firefighters used to spray down the area. The homeowner also returned for the first time to reflect on what she calls a miracle. Nedra Obradovich is thankful to be alive. Even though she didn't know what the sound was, she thought it could be the end for her. I was standing facing east and the sound is rolling toward me. And I'm like, I really was just going, wow, this is it? This is the way it happens? It was a rental recreational helicopter. The pilot lost control and the chopper ended up clipping the roof of Obradovich's house and damaging her deceased mother's car before landing in front of her home. Neighbors told Obradovich palm fronds went flying, but the pilot and passenger inside were okay. What was so fantastic was the people that were in it walked away with cuts and bruises. Neighbors also came out this morning marveling at how things turned out. That could have been our house, you know, it could have been us. I could have came home and found a helicopter in my front yard. Obradovich says four governmental agencies conducted their inspections yesterday and gave her the all clear to come back today. So as she tends to her bird, Abby, who also survived, neighbor Matt Wee thinks that one of the signs out front might want to be modified. Instead of saying caution, falling coconuts, he thinks it should also say, Look out for uh, flying objects. And the single mother of two counts her blessings. I just feel grateful. I feel very, very grateful. And, you know, my, I guess my, I'm, my kids still need me. My time's not over yet. I kind of feel like I've given, I've been given a gift. From West Palm Beach, Giovanna Deerpick, WPTV News Channel 5.